Good morning, Bob and Pat. Um, thank you for having me be your agent to list your townhome. The reason for the email is because I find that sometimes it's difficult to communicate tone and intent. When we're talking about somebody's home and we're going to stage it to be sold, I want to make sure that you understand. I realize this is your home, but we're now going to look at it at, from the buyer's perspective. I'm not being picky about your home. You're a very good ho housekeeper, everything, Pat. So this isn't um, per se about you and, again, about your home. It's preparing it so that the average buyer, any buyer, will come in and feel a loss if they don't put down a, uh, an offer on your home. So we want to make it the best possible house possible for that buyer in that price range. To start off, what I'd like to start with is just cleanliness. Number one thing that every buyer likes is a clean house. The second thing is any sense of wear and tear. And the third thing, of course, is mold, mildew, anything along those lines, which goes down to cleanliness. So the first point is they're going to come into the house, and the best thing is the light. So we're going to have the windows clean. Make sure that your windows are as clean as possible, or if you can have somebody clean them. I did not notice that they were dirty when I was there, but then again, it's just to get as much light into the house as possible. This also helps when we're taking pictures, because you have a really nice, bright living room, and since it's a high ceiling, we also want them to catch capture that. So uh, brightness is, pot is important, cleanliness windows. Having the floor or the uh, the rugs cleaned is another area. I know that as you go up the stairs, I realize it's beige, but it was there were marks on each stair. Obviously, people live here. So you want to make sure that those are cleaned. If you can get a, if you need a professional steam cleaner, please let me know and I'll give that information to you. Um, as far as the house itself, as we go forward, the third thing that's very difficult, I know, for as a homeowner is also to please take down all of your pictures, any pictures especially of grandchildren, children, children's names, those need to be taken down. That also means that you would take everything off the refrigerator. Many times there's schedules, those ballpark schedules, there's things on refrigerators that tell a lot to a potential person walking through. Now, this isn't going to be the public. We will know who's coming into your house because we're not doing an open house. Uh, we might do that later. You and I will talk. We'll talk about that. So please take all your family pictures down and put them away. All right, let's go through each room and how it's going to happen. When we walk into your living room, please take the the uh, coffee table that's in front of the fireplace. Take that off. Take everything off the mantle. Everything. Um, that's that's the money shot, and we wanted to make it as clear and show the lines as much as possible. Um, again, I know this might be for temporary purposes for when the kids come back, but for the picture day, please take out all the kids' books and the toys out of the um, TV console. That's another area. Um, as we go into the kitchen, in the kitchen, please take all the magnets off the kitchen, off the refrigerator, and then we're going to get a toaster oven and some other things. Those need to all be taken off the countertops, even the coffee maker. So that's going to give them the biggest shot. If everything's off of the counters, that means that we'll be able to see as much counter space as possible in the kitchen. Also, we'll bring in that light. In the dining room, I know you have to take down the high chair for the for your two-year-old and do a few other things. Again, we're going to take the shot probably from the refrigerator shooting out towards the um, real bright dining room area. For the bathrooms, again, anything to do with mold, we already talked about that. Um, for staging purposes, I was wondering if maybe you could get two bright colored pillows that would go in each of your bedrooms. You might have to get one for each one, but I thought a yellow pillow, like two to three bright yellow pillows, you know, the 12 inch side one, size ones, would be perfect for staging because we can put it on the blue and white mat uh, bedspread in the bedroom, your master bedroom, and then also again in the other room which has yellow accents in it. Please take down the, the porto crib. Um, and then that kind of thing again for the shots. Take it down or we'll just take it out of the room for the shots. Okay, in the, in the upstairs area, um, in the den up there, or the desk area, please take all everything off of the um, ledge, except for the flag. I love the flag and that's great. And then of course all the personal pictures. Anything to do with banking or anything like that, you guys know you have to take that out. I just I just don't want anything weird. So make sure you have everything hidden. Nothing that's just too darn easy for somebody to get snoopy. Um, 
I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you got all that. I will also put it in the email below, and we will talk later. Um, let me know what you think of having a email message, video email. Talk to you later. Thanks, Pat, Pat and Bob, and I'll see you at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Bye.